gosh, look at this. I mean, what is that, Ron? Look. Ooh. This house actually was built in 1960. So this is an original bathroom. It's not very often that we get to work in an original bathroom from 1960. You have this linoleum floor, and I've noticed right off the bat that we have some squishiness in the floor, how soft that is. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the toilet and then see what's going on under here. And I'll probably just cut the linoleum around. That'll probably come up easier than cutting all of the caulking. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Here's that spot that was really mushy. See, there's like, this floor is just complete mush. Take this out. Oh my gosh, look at this. I mean, this, if this isn't a health hazard, I don't know what is. Um, we should probably get respirators on, Ronnie. Look at this. I mean, I can just take it out with my hand. And so that's particle board. And it looks like there's a dug fur sub base underneath it that's probably damaged too. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this off here. Because what, what happens when, when the water damage starts, it, it acts like a sponge and it just kind of spreads everywhere. I mean, it'll go into the drywall and it, it just looks for a place to go. And we, have, we have black stuff on here. Again, I don't know if that's mold or if it's the old adhesive for the linoleum. Have a look at this. So what I really I want to find out is if if our layer underneath the particle board is damaged. And look when the you can tell when they did their when they they had so the original linoleum is this green stuff. And then when they did this, probably in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, they didn't repair any of this, and this happens a lot. Lin linoleum guys or other flooring contractors, even tile guys are guilty of doing this. You know, they'll tile right over all this stuff. They'll come in and they'll put hardy backer down on top of this. So it's really important if you're doing a tile floor, you got to find out what's going on. If you were to put tile over this, it would fail within months. It would be, it would be done. But you can see, so those linoleum guys tried to put some kind of patch this white patch, like a fix-all. It looks like they even did like a, you know, a little bit of plaster in there. Um, but yeah, they were they just came in and just did a patch job. And you know, this is you can just tell. Okay, so this is a and this is a spot where if it was in a traffic area, people would probably actually fall through this. Watch what happened. So this is. This is two by six dug fur, and and we're gonna get down to it. Unless that's a girder right there. Oh, there we go. Right through to the crawl space. So again, since this was, oh, look at this. We even have, we have some kind of, is that a slug? What is that, Ron? Look. 
What the heck is that? First time forever. <laughs> Look, I've never seen that. He was actually in here. He That's wasn't crazy. down from the bottom. He was actually inside the wood framing. It's wet enough. Probably for him. eating all of this. And you know this the thing about this is is this is you know this is toilet water. This is like I mean this is a biohazard. This is not stuff to mess around with. So Ryan, let's get some respirators on. And uh, I'm going to be real careful with my gloves. I'll just end up throwing this, these away. Um, but we're going to tear into a little more of this and find out what happened. Okay. Pull some more linoleum just to try to get an idea of the extent of the damage here. And you can see it's, it's basically probably going to be a large portion of this floor is, oh yeah, look at this here, look at that, and the easiest particle board we ever took out, yeah, this is pretty crazy how much water the floor can soak up, all right, that's all from the toilet, you think, it's got to be, I mean this, so the thing is, is, you know, this is, if this house was built in 1960, uh, you know, who knows how long it's been going on like this. Um, but at least since they re linoleum, you know, probably 40 years ago. So we have 40 years of continuous water. And again, it just travels all of these, all of these, you know, wood, and particle board will just act like a sponge. You know, it just it just acts like a sponge and it just travels. So, you know, hopefully, you know, it it, it stopped at some point, but this could be something that you know luckily they stop it at the at the walls. Yeah, it's just, just turn to mush. So what we might need to do, Ron, what we might need to do is actually get the vanity out because it, it's, it's going underneath the vanity. Um, so yeah, well, that's what we'll do is we'll start taking out the rest of it and get the rest of this floor out. Okay, so we got the tub out. What we're going to do is we're going to take the rest of this floor off so we can see what's underneath it. So this, this linoleum should be... I got my blade. So the water damage, this looks like it's dry right here. The water damage has come all the way on this line here. Okay, so here's the extent you can see this over here is that's all dry no water right here though you can see it's uh, all soft it hasn't really had that bad smell in here until I took this up so I mean it it's definitely got some some funk going on and you can see there's like some kind of you know, nasty growths going on in here. It's real slippery. Mold and stuff like that. Yep, all the way through. 
through right here. All the way through down to the crawl space. So basically, all of this framing is going to need to be redone. Um, this subfloor is 2x6, tongue and groove. Doug Fur, you can see the groove part and the planks, the 2x6s fit this way. There'll be girders, four foot on center. Um, so we're going to have to replace all of this. Um, so there you have it. I mean, so a leaky toilet can wreak a lot of havoc. I mean, if you have a toilet at your house and you notice it kind of rocks or you see a little bit of water that comes out or if you're on a, a wood subfloor and you notice that it's kind of mushy around there, you got to get it fixed. Call a plumber, um, call a contractor. I would actually call a general contractor to come and look at it because if you call a subcontractor like a plumber, he might just reset the toilet. If you call a flooring installer, he might just throw flooring over the top of it. You need to get someone who really knows what they're doing that can prevent this from happening. Because basically, this is turning into uh, probably you know, a week's worth of labor to completely redo this whole thing, to take everything out. You know, the we still don't know the full extent of the water damage. So anyways, so there you have it. Thanks for checking out my videos. Stay tuned for the rebuild of this project. We're going to take this out. We're going to put in a whole new shower. We're actually going to turn uh, the tub area into a walk-in shower with a curbless entry. So you're not going to want to miss those episodes. Make sure to watch the next video coming up. I hope you got something out of this video. Even if you got something out of my mistakes I went, when I cut my finger, you know, we're all here to learn and get better. So I love you guys. I love being your tile coach. We'll see you on the next video.